We did the repair on that water feature there that goes into this beautiful pool. So if you want to see how we did the repair here on this water feature here, continue watching the video and you'll go ahead and figure it out. Hey, what's up YouTube? We're starting a new video. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe. We're going to be doing a new video today on how to make a water feature repair. So we came here a while back. We did some repairs. Uh, we were called back to make one more repair because their pool was leaking. We're going to show you how we how we uh, came to the solution of that, how we found out what was leaking and what the deal was. So stay tuned, keep watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. So we got all our tools here, you can see. So all I got today is just a rock hammer, chisel, um, a bucket, sand and cement, and I bought an angle grinder just in case we might need it. So let me show you where the pull it, what the feature is. So there's the water feature we're gonna be repairing. And I'm gonna show you exactly what we're gonna be doing. So this is the back of the water feature. Um, so what happens is when it's on, the water will trickle down there, go into there and then into the pool, right? Um, originally what happened was there was some water coming out through the back of here um, and it was leaking down down there so we came we took all this apart removed this top boulder the shelf um and then there's this little valley in there i'm going to show you that so you can see in there and you can see it looks wet but it's not we went ahead and used a product called pond shield um we did this about a year and a half ago so that's still good to go we were called back because they thought that it was going to be leaking it wasn't the water feature we thought it might have been the pond shield head um, deteriorated or something with the chlorine in the water um, but that was not the case so what we did was um, the customer called out a, a leak detection company and so they tested the, the pool tested make sure that uh, where it was leaking all that stuff um, and then they came to find out that the leak was somewhere starting from here over this way so that's why we thought it was the water feature that had failed um, where we had made the, the the repairs but while we were here and the pool company was we were discussing and uh the pool company noticed that there was a light right about there you can see it and you see all these boulders so there was a light there before um and they and he noticed that the light was the light had been broken from its threading right and so that since it was broken it was plastic the water when it the water would raise the level so the water, they would fill it up again. It would be like right about there and the water would just drip right out, right? So that's how they noticed the water was leaking. Um, now, since they put the cap on, it hasn't been leaking. What we did was we removed the stone here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you right there. You can see right there so they could stick their hand in there and get to work. So what we're here today is to replace that stone um, and put it back in place. So let's go ahead and get that started. I'll show you guys how to make the cement and everything else. One of the main things to remember when you're sticking stone, sorry, the sun just bugged right there. Um, one, one of the main things to remember when you're sticking stone is to always clean the surface area where you're going to be applying the stone or actually laying or setting the street. So this is the water feature right here. You can see this is the waterfall. Um, and this is the stone that we removed. Well, I got a new one now. So I had grinded all that out. This was origin uh, from the beginning, right? Um, and then once I grind all that out, we're gonna start wiping, you know, vacuum it. I have a vacuum, I vacuumed it all. Um, get all the dust and stuff out of there. Get a wet rag or a sponge, clean it up multiple times. You're trying to get rid of all of the dirt that's in there so that way um, your new stone will stick really good and it'll adhere to the new surface. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and continue cleaning this up, wiping it down. I'm gonna go ahead and get another rag and some more water in the bucket um like i said if you have a sponge this is the way you're going to do it you're going to go ahead and wipe it down clean it all up um you can see look at the rag how dirty it is so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, wash this off again and then we'll come back and clean it again proceed the process a couple more times once it's really clean then we can start mixing the sand and cement um and then laying the stones so the stones are going to go like this this one's going to go here so this is moss boulder it gets its name because obviously as you can see, it grows moss on it when it's used in water features and applications like this. It gives it a nice, you know, color. That, But just to let you know, that's where it gets its name from, moss boulder. So so this one's going to go there. And then I have to cut this one, trip it with a rock and make it fit in there somehow like that. Cut this here and then we'll be good to go. 
and refill, reset, let it cure, let it dry, come back and wire brush, and we're good to go. So we got the rock hammer, we got safety glasses, we're gonna continue. So I believed it was like right about here, something like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and break it. There we go, so see, Got a nice little triangle piece. All I did was cut it with this end, whack it, and we're good to go. So let's go ahead and try this out, see if this works. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is, now that I got it cut, I'll try to place it in there. Kind of fits like that um try another way there we go so it looks like it's gonna fit best right there so it looks like i have a little bit more work to do here chip this out on the bottom which is gonna be this right here remove this and then um should set right in there so stay tuned to see the end result so we're removing some of this right here i already removed it a little right here so i'm gonna go ahead and give it some right there you can see it got chipped off on the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that around here as well. All right. There we go. And don't forget to use uh, eye protection at all times. You catch one of these rocks to the eye and you might lose it. Um, lose it or it's gonna hurt really bad, one of the two, so. Cause I once did that once and I regretted it for a couple days. It's ever since then I've been wearing these. But anyways, let's go ahead and see how this fits. All right, so here's the stone. Try it in there. Looks like it fits a little better now. This guy's gonna be like that with the cement. This guy's gonna be right there. So I'm gonna move that a little bit right there. And then we'll continue from there. All right, so I got that section removed right here. Um, and now the stone should sit in there fairly easy. I went ahead and cleaned it up too, vacuumed it, and got it all wiped down with the rag or a sponge, whatever you have, whatever you like to use, prefer best, right? So this stone is gonna go right here. This boulder actually, that's what it is, it's a moss boulder. So that one will go right there. And then this one will set right in there, which is beautiful because if you look, it's flush with the other one, so that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and do that just like that. That looks very nice, I actually like that. I may take some off of this one a little bit right here on the edge just so I could drop down because with the cement it is going to raise it a little bit so I'll go ahead and make those changes right now but other than that this one's setting really nice in there that one's ready to go and then we'll just fill some cement so stay tuned for uh making the cement process if you all right so I got my trowel I got my bucket and like I said it's a two to one ratio so we're going to go ahead and walk up to the front sorry for that dog barking I guess he doesn't like us, but anyways. Okay, so to start off, um, you're gonna need cement. So this is the cement right here. You can see this is a Belterra tan color. So this is what we use for the coloring. Um, and then this is this masonry sand. So we're gonna go ahead and add two of these to one of these. Let's go ahead and get it started. All right, so we got the bucket, the sand, and the cement. We got them all open. You're gonna use two to one. So that's two sand to one cement. Uh, if you're doing six sand, that's three cement. If you're doing 12 sand, that's six cement, it's two to one. So you're gonna do two to one. If you're using 24 sand, you're gonna use 12 of these. Um, it doesn't matter if you're using a trowel, it doesn't matter if you're using a shovel, it's two to one, all right? So let's go ahead and get this started. So we're gonna get one shovel here, it's simple. Look at how I do this. One shovel, one, two, and like I said, two to one. There you go, look at that, how easy that is, making cement. All right, now if you need a little bit more, which probably is gonna be, well maybe not, I don't think so. I think this might be enough. Um, yeah, I think this might be good actually. So that's okay, we'll just make this for now. So we got the water hose right here, cement right there, right? Cause it's gonna become motor here shortly. shortly. And then we got the water, so let's turn on the water get the water going one thing i always tell the guys is not to get carried away with the water so you always want to add just a tiny bit don't get too happy with this stuff because you can't take water out you can always put water in i'll say that again you can't take water out you can always put water in so um i think that's enough for now and then we'll go ahead and mix this up so 
ahead and get this all mixed up. And you can see. Alright, so it looks like I'm going to need a little bit more water. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit. There we go. That's the trick. I suggest you just add a little bit of water at a time. Make sure it's not like this. See how you can still see the sand? You want to mix that really good. So just mix and mix and mix until it looks kind of like this. Look, at you can see this over here. It looks nice and mixed. I'm get that closer to the camera for you. See? The difference between that and this. So, it needs to be mixed. Here we got it. We got the hose, cement, and water. What I always do is I always release the pressure so it's not holding up. There's the water feature. So we're going to go ahead and get that stone set over there. So that is not the end of the video. We're still going to continue more. Continue watching. The next video is to the right of the screen. So go ahead and click on that now to see the next video. Thank you guys. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you can see all our new DIY and how-to videos. So click to the right of the screen and there will be the tag so you can go ahead and watch the part two of this video so you can see how to finish up your job.